Which cruise ships are the dirtiest? Which cruise ships are the cleanest? And how can you figure that out for yourself? I'll show you in today's video. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? This is Tony with La Lita Loca. Welcome to the YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. If you're brand new, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. Now let's talk about cruise ship sanitation. The CDC here in the United States, which is the Centers for Disease Control and Protection, has a program in which they will inspect cruise ships and give them a sanitation score. The program is called the VSP, which is the Vessels Sanitation Program, and uh, I'll read a little bit off of the CDC's website as to what the mission of the VSP is and how they help facilitate that mission. The website reads, the Vessel Sanitation Program at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention assists the cruise ship industry to to prevent and control the introduction, transmission, and spread of gastrointestinal illness on cruise ships. VSP operates under the authority of Public Health Service Act 42 Section 264 Quarantine and Inspection Regulations to control communicable diseases. It goes on to say that they accomplish their mission by inspecting cruise ships in periodic, unannounced operational sanitation inspections. It monitors gastrointestinal illnesses and investigates or responds to outbreaks. They accomplish their goal by training cruise ship employees on public health practices, and they provide health education and reliable and current public health information to the cruise ship industry, the traveling public, public health professionals, state and local health authorities, and the media. Media. The VSP has jurisdiction over cruising vessels that carry more than 13 passengers and have a foreign itinerary which includes a U.S. port. So the cool thing about this VSP program is once it goes out and it does sanitation inspections on cruise ships, it gives the cruise ship a score from 0 to 100. To have a satisfactory or passing score, you have to have 86 or higher. And so the ships that I'm going to talk about today that are on the dirty list are ships that have a score of 85 or below. Fortunately, there's not a lot on that list. And I actually used the tool on the CDC website to pull this up. If you're going on a cruise ship, you can look at the last health report on that cruise ship. I'm gonna show you how to do that after I go through the dirtiest and the clean list. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump into the computer and I'll show you very simply how you can find your cruise ship and see whether or not it has a good or bad sanitation score. So onto the list of the ships that are considered the dirtiest or at least they have the score of 85 or less on their last uh, VSP sanitation report. Here's the list of the ships, uh, including their score and the cruise line. The first one is La Boreal, and that is from the Campagne de Ponant, uh, cruise line, the Norwegian Breakaway, that's from Norwegian Cruise Line, Ocean Dream by the Japan Grace Cruise Line, Oceana Insignia from the Oceana Cruise Lines, Pacific Venus from the Japanese Cruise Line, Safari Endeavor from Uncruise Adventures, Silver Spirit from Silver Sea Cruise Line, and Silver Wind from the Silver Sea Cruise Line. So not a huge list of ships considering all the cruise ships that are out there. Uh, so those are the ones that are on the dirty list. I will leave a link to the CDC site below if you wanna go see what some of the violations on these cruise ships are. And now onto the cleanest cruise ships. One of the cool features there on that CDC website is you can see the cruise ships that have scored 100 over the last 12 months. And I'm gonna share that list with you right now. These are all cruise ships that scored 100 on their last VSP sanitation inspection. Brilliance of the Seas by Royal Caribbean International, Celebrity Summit by Celebrity Cruises, Rhapsody of the Seas by Royal Caribbean International, Norwegian Gem, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Disney Wonder, Disney Cruise Lines, Seaborne Quest by Seaborne Cruise Lines, Viking Star from Viking Ocean Cruises, Aurora by P&O Cruises, Disney Fantasy from the Disney Cruise Line, Nordom from Holland America Line, Sea Princess from Princess Cruises, Disney Dream from the Disney Cruise Line, Ada Vita from Ada Cruise Lines, and Emerald Princess from Princess Cruises. 
So pretty good representation there of the cruise lines that have scored 100%. Those are, it's a rolling 12 months, so if you check it tomorrow, if anything was a year to date, it would be gone. But it's interesting to see. And interesting to note, I think Disney only has three cruise ships and all three of them were on the 100 score list. So a big ups to Disney. So let's jump into the tool. I'll show you how you can get your cruise ship score. We announced recently that we're going to be going on the Celebrity Equinox in the near future. And so of course, I wanna know how the Celebrity Equinox Equinox did. This is how you do a search for a specific ship using the Celebrity Equinox. Let's jump over to the computer. All right, so we're going to go over to the CDC's website and search for the Celebrity Equinox. Uh, here is the link. I will provide it below in the description. And they have this really great search tool for the Vessel Sanitation Program. Uh, you can enter things into all of these boxes here to really narrow it down. Uh, to get the list of ships that uh, did not perform well, all we did was on the cruise ships, see how it's highlighted all vessel inspection scores, and then we chose the ones that said 85% or lower, and we did a search. And that's how we returned those ships that scored poorly. And now if we go back, uh, the ships that have uh, the last 100, they have a hyperlink for it there, ships that scored 100. So you can always go check that. And again, that's on a running um, one year. And so you see this one on 523.18, that'll fall off this month. And so this list will change over time. And then if you wanna find a specific ship, uh, you can look at the cruise lines as a whole, but the ships that they've inspected are in this list here. So let's look for the Celebrity Equinox. Here's Celebrity, Celebrity Equinox. Now that I have that highlighted, uh, I wanna make sure the score criteria is all. And most recent date. And then I'll hit the search button. And there you go, oh good. Uh, so the Celebrity Equinox has a score of 99%. Uh, you can see all of their past scores. Ooh, back in the past, look, they got a 92 down there back in 2014, oh, a 92 and 17. So you can take a look at how the ship's been doing over time. And then if you want to see the details of that last report, uh, you can click the report button and it's going to show you all the different violations. Uh, it's, and it goes into pretty extensive detail. So yeah, super helpful tool to check out uh, your cruise ship. Yeah, so the Equinox scored pretty good, 99. I feel pretty confident about it. It's interesting, every time you pull up one of these lists, you can go into the report, you can see the violations, and uh, they're pretty detailed as to what caused the violation. It's interesting to see also on that Celebrity Equinox report that you can have a lot of violations and still only like lose a point, so it'd be at a 99. So yeah, that's a pretty interesting tool that anybody can use. I will leave a link in the description below that takes you right to that search tool. Uh, you can look up your ship. Again, you can see the ships that are underperforming and you can see the ships that uh, have 100%. Public health concerns are definitely a part of cruising, something every cruiser should be mindful of. I did do a video on norovirus, what it was, and some simple ways that you can try to prevent it when you're on a cruise ship. Uh, I would recommend you watch that video. I will link it in a card above and in the description below. Uh, go get educated a little bit on norovirus. If you found the video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Follow us on social media. This is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.